Will you please welcome Noel and Gillian from the Mighty Boosh. <laughs> <laughs> How lovely to see you. How lovely to have you both in the mighty Bush. Two of the greatest comic talents in the country as we speak right now, ladies and uh, gentlemen, Noel and Julia. No, it's the truth and you know it. How lovely to have you here. Thank you. Thanks good for having us. Good to be here. Did you get to meet uh, or chat to many of the Olympic winners back there? Did you follow the Olympics? Were yeah. you watching that? I didn't see any of it, but I heard it was good. <laughs> <laughs> I made That's exactly what they said about your show to me. <laughs> I made a sort of accidental joke. Because uh, it's a really nice girl I was chatting to, one, obviously won a gold. She said, oh, I like your shoes, they're really gold. And I said, yeah, yeah, they do them in silver as well. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Why would she want them in silver? <laughs> Never well, wants exactly, to see yeah, silver yeah. again. <laughs> um, do you, are you sporty types yourself? I mean, do you seek out sport? Were you sporty as youngsters? Yeah, I seek out sport. We play home. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I, if I, if I hear there's some sport somewhere, I'll, I'll seek it. I oh, saw Julian yeah. seeking out some sport earlier on. <laughs> I know, um, uh, I, I used to look at all the quite nooks good, and crannies. Quite good at long sport. jump, I was. <laughs> you weren't quite, were you really? Yeah, I was quite good, yeah. Standing still long jump, you said. You know yeah. the one where you have to go like yeah. that? That's not a sport. <laughs> Is that a sport? It used to be an Olympic sport, actually. No, did it really? Yeah, before, yeah. Uh, and then they added the run up. Because obviously it was because it was rubbish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing? It's basically just like a controlled falling forward. <laughs> yeah. uh, what about you? You're quite you're quite good at football, aren't you? Is that right? Yeah. I'm quite good at sport in general, actually. Yeah. But you don't, I know this, but you don't football. look sporty at all because you look like a, a gadfly, a fashionista. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I'm quite. I'm all right at football actually, but I did. You always used to wear a sort of little headband and. Even in football, I'd wear it. We've got a picture of you there. Oh, yeah. You look a little bit yeah. like a, a, a sort of a 70s football there, don't you? Like yeah. Chopper Harris, maybe, or one yeah. of those guys from, from the past. Then. I was hoping for you were going to say George Best, but you said Chopper Harris, and I was a little disappointed then. Because George Best never stood quite like that, did he? <laughs> no. <laughs> Could be seeking out that ball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, I missed out in the summer of an event which I think I would have enjoyed very much, uh, no. which was uh, the Bush Fest. We invited you as well. I know, but it was, it was, you only invited me on the day, right? And then mm. I've got a family and yeah. stuff, and I had to try and organise that, and it, was, it didn't, just didn't happen. That's all it was. I wanted to come. Uh, what did you do? It was, a, it was a, a musical festival or a comedy festival? What was Bush it was, Fest? It was a music festival, but we had com a comedy tent and a musical uh, yeah. stage. And we headlined the musical stage, so yeah. it was, we had lots yeah. of bands. We had Gary Newman came down. Well, well I know you're big Gary Newman fans, of course. It was yeah. amazing. Did he do early stuff that everyone loves, or did he do the new stuff? He did it all, actually. He was, do you know what? He was amazing. Yeah. Oh, now, there's, there's a picture which perhaps needs some explanation <laughs> uh, as to exactly what's going on That's there. That's Gary on the right. <laughs> He what? was good, actually. He was, very, he was like sort of an electro lion, really pr sort of proudly walking yeah. up and down. He was, he was among his people again. Yeah, and he asked me to do cars with him, and I just absolutely shat myself and didn't do it. You <laughs> I didn't couldn't. do it? No, because I couldn't. I was too nervous. I just ran away. That is what you I had wanted. a meltdown. Do, 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 I couldn't do it. I know. No, I wouldn't you... have been out it. I'd have just gone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it'd have been, it would have been awful. But what if you ask you again now? Would you? Yeah, I'd do it now. Yeah. Well, maybe we'd we could him out the way. Striking poses. Is electro your choice of music then? I do like electro. Yeah. No, I'm a bit more of sort of rock. Yeah, a bit yeah. Aerosmith, Stones, yeah. Led Zeppelin. And Julian, uh, in the series, of course, mm. the, your alter ego Howard Moon is a, a jazz fan. That's, That's right. It. Yeah. Are you yourself a jazz fan? I am. Seriously. Awesome, yeah. Very much so, There's not yeah. so many of you out there, really. No, we're a dying breed. <laughs> you are, it is sort of dying, right. actually. Isn't like it? unicorns. I'm trying to bring it back. With, uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's two of them. No, quick, there's one. Grab him. Get unicorns never existed. They, how can they die out? They how don't... dare you? <laughs> how very dare you? I saw okay. one the other day. Could have I been do... a horse with a cornetto on its head, I'm not sure. <laughs> is it true that um, Bono, uh, being a fan, wanted you to take part in the Bush Fest? That he came to you and asked if he could do that? I think he, um, he sort of, yeah, he kind of liked the bush and stuff, and then he sort of said, oh, well, I'll come and do your festival, but it was a bit late, we were just about, we sort of booked everyone, and well, hold also, it, hold I mean, it. he's you so turned, <laughs> Hold it, you turned down Bono, <laughs> well, lead singer of the greatest bands in the world, one of the biggest bands in the world, you said, no, we're, no. we're, a bit, we're fully booked. Which, which <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's so, they're so, 
enormous. It would have been a bit weird. It would have been, you know, I mean, they don't, they, we were headlined. They couldn't support us. That would be ludicrous. <laughs> well, then you could have supported that. them. They could have gone on top of you. What's wrong with that? Imagine that. It would have been ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, this is your dressing room. It's a cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> That's some hula hoops. That's your rider. We they could would have, have done that. They would have liked it. It would have been good for them to slum for a while. You know what I mean? Would have, they would have liked it. It would have taken them back to the old days. Yeah. If no. they ask you next time, would you say yes? Who could do I mean, yeah. are you going to do it again? That'd be fun. Yeah, no, we want to do it yeah, again, yeah. don't we? Went, it went pretty well. I mean, yeah. we didn't really know what to expect, so it was quite scary, but it went, it was... It went really well, was good. It? Well, yeah, I saw you on the tour. Pyrotechnics and fireworks. I saw the comedy tour and I loved it, and it was fantastic yeah. live. And a lot of work, I mean, it was a long show, a lot of work, and it wasn't too long. <laughs> it was like Gandhi, wasn't it? It was about like four hours yeah, long. Yeah, maybe it was a bit too long. But <laughs> too a lot good, of work yeah. had gone into it, and it was a great live performance. Uh, and I noticed as well that you get a lot of your fans turn up dressed as some of the more extreme characters. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did that happen at Bushfest as well? Yeah, yeah it was like, like a huge fancy dress. Party. 10,000 people Look dressed at that, up. The double acts <laughs> in formation. The chemistry <laughs> is yeah. incredible. Yeah. Right it's wrong, there. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, I know, it's great. It was a lot of people dressed up. Like in fancy. Okay. Yeah. Dress. That's yeah. how it was. <laughs> but it was pretty exactly, there was like, someone had come as Tony Harrison, who is quite a difficult character to come as. He's basically a pink testicle with sort of. Eight tentacle arms. It's just a head. It's a head with tentacles. So on they sort of it. built sort of plimps, and about four of them came as the Tony Harrison. <laughs> no, but there was a guy in a bolo suit. Literally didn't take it off all day. Now bolo uh, is the giant, the giant gorilla yeah. in the series. Of he's course. right at the front, and he was like that, just staring up. And he never took that wow. costume off, and it was about 80 degrees. I'm he pretty sure he died in that costume. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's still there like that. <laughs> uh, now. The fellas have, I'm delighted to say, uh, have a book out, which is a really lavish... It's, uh, I can see, I've seen it. It's not really finished yet. They have one copy, I believe. And yeah. they hand-bound that for you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Small Japanese boy made that for you. Yeah. Wow. Are they going to make more for other people, or is it just that? Just it was all for that you. We did it just for you. <laughs> He's just doing them all. Like, no, just one bloke. Um, just one guy. Yeah, it's but, fast, though. <laughs> uh, but it's clearly... It's a really... It's a labour of love. It clearly is. Yeah, I mean, you've yeah. invested a lot more yourselves than people yeah. often do in this kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think I, I have... Yeah, here, here, this is the one they, and is this how it's going to look, the finished one? They've, they've yeah. made this just a, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's, it's the first time we've seen it. Um, we saw it in the uh, dressing room earlier, but that right. was it. Well, there's a picture of you both looking pretty young there. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, that's when we were lovers. I was still at school then. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's a graphic novel. Yeah, look, you're yeah, like You've this. got a comic um, in the middle of it and yeah. everything. See a little pull out comic. You but can... it's one, when I was a kid, there were certain books that came out that I used to love, like, well, the Monty Python books always had a lot of work in, and the yeah. Rutland Weekend television book yeah. Yeah. had loads of work in, and it reminds me of that. In yeah, well, that's what we, it's it's we used to take control of them. We used to put a lot of love in them. Yeah, yeah. Watch the, the goodies ones were good as well. Yeah, the goodies books were great. It's to look like a sort of beautiful annual. Yeah, know. it is. It's like a real end of the year treat and um, the, <laughs> clearly you, you both write separate parts of it. There's a lot of your stuff in there and uh, Howard Moon has part of his autobiography in there as well. <laughs> yeah, Trumpet Full of Memories. Trumpet yeah. Full of Memories. <laughs> now, um, we sent this book to a psychiatrist, that is gentlemen. We thought we, we had a full <laughs> copy, a psychologist, I'm sorry, we sent to a psychologist and asked him to evaluate the two personalities behind it. He talked about Vince and he talked about Howard. Right. Who do you want to do first? Uh, Let's do Vince. Yeah. Childish and naive quality to this work, which could be evidence that he's comfortable in a childlike role. This could be related to a need to re-experience childhood, perhaps to give it a happier ending. Maybe childhood isn't recalled so fondly. <laughs> childhood happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds perverse. Okay. I didn't realise it got quite so sad at the end there. Oh, maybe I wouldn't have started with it. Okay, Howard, are you ready for this? <clears throat> yeah. So it's about your character, but really so this is about you lines. and the genius. Yeah. Yours is probably about... Like, it's a bit longer. It's like a doomsday book. What does it just say? Avoid, avoid at all costs. Keep, keep away from him. Very good vocabulary. I think he thought he was marking the book at yeah. this stage. <laughs> which is evidence of a superior intellect. Well, that's... yeah. <laughs> and those with mental health problems... Yeah. <laughs> such as schizophrenia, <laughs> mania, and those, and those in the manic phase of cyclical bipolar disorder. I've been telling you that for years. <laughs> I've been telling him that for years. <laughs> telling <laughs> That's a bad joke. That's a very good got. joke. Uh, well, now, listen, it's great to see you here again. Thank you so much for coming on the show. You know Thank I'm you. a fan. Uh, all my family are big fans. Uh, you're going to go back on tour, is that why right? You're doing another big Boosh tour? In a week's time, yeah. Wow. yeah. And this will be just the music like the Boosh Fest or like comedy, a comedy oh, no, narrative no. as well? It's a, it's a comedy, comedy show. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a musical interlude. We're taking we're a band a, with us, aren't we? We're taking we? a band and, uh, we're, you know, we're spanning the genres. 
I'm do so it. when's the tour kick off? When, when are you doing it? Next, I think it's next Thursday, isn't it? Next Thursday? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we're, and then we're in away Edinburgh. for a while. Edinburgh's the first day. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. then you're doing a couple of big dates down there. I know you're doing, is it what you're doing the O2 centre? Yeah. Well, that's a massive yeah. venue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there's no they, way you'll feel that. They cordon it off. <laughs> <laughs> cordon it off to one. One. <laughs> 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 uh, we've got a special treat for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen, because the Mighty Bruce have agreed to perform for us live this evening. How about that? So I'm going to allow you to go and get ready to enter the magical world of the Boosh. <laughs> the ladies and gentlemen, join me in saying thank you to Noel and Julie and the mighty Boosh. Yeah. Excellent work. Excellent work. Excellent work. Thank you very much.